Hi everybody, it's Kathy Gallico, and I am going to work with you today on creating a family. And the family that we're going to do is this table here that you see on your screen right now. It's a modern table. It's got a tabletop and two legs. They're um, just very rectangular, easy to model, uh, but it's a very complicated thing to create your own family and to create types from that family. <clears throat> so let's get started. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is go to uh, your Revit and you're going to start a new family project. Now you can also go to your start screen and under families choose new. I'm going to start from here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And when you uh, click on the new when you're in the family uh, type, you're going to get all of these different template options. And uh, you can see that you can pretty much make just about anything from a template, including doors, windows, um, electrical equipment, things like that. So what we're going to try and use today is the furniture template. So we're going to go ahead and click on furniture and click open. When you first open your furniture template, there's nothing modeled in here, but you will have in your project browser, which is over to my right, uh, right hand side of the screen, we do have the reference level, which is just like your floor plan in a project. And that's what we're looking at right here. We're looking at the top down view. And what these little dashed lines are here are uh, reference planes. And these are going to help guide us in uh, setting up our um, table that we're going to be modeling. The center point, the intersection here, is our insertion point, so we do need to keep that in mind. And then um, let's look over here at the project browser, and uh, we do have a ceiling reference level set up, which we won't be using for our, for our furniture. And we have a 3D view. Um, now I can click on this 3D view, but you're not going to see anything there because there's nothing modeled yet. And then we also have the elevation views. And in the elevation views, you do see the reference level zero, which we're going to be using that as our floor, our floor level and our uh, host level. Um, and then you do see the uh, reference planes in um, the elevation view as well. That was the back view. This is the front. Now, for some reason, when I'm going into these templates, I'm needing to zoom. So if you are clicking into these elevations and you find it just blank, uh, you should be seeing reference level and your uh, reference planes. So go ahead and hit zoom, enter, A, enter, and that should zoom into the area that has uh, the view. I'm going to do that for the left view as well, and that looks good, and the right view is actually missing. So I'm going to do zoom, enter, A, enter, and that has given me <clears throat> the zoom. All right, so we're going to start on our reference level. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the reference level. And what we want to do is set up our, um, our area that we're going to be drawing. And we're going to be setting up reference planes, which is going to give us the framework for our table and kind of set some uh, dimensions in there so that we can model. And when we model in um, this type of family template, we're actually using these extrusions here. So that's why... This uh, ribbon up here looks a little bit different than when we're in a project view. And we're modeling in um, 3D in extrusion. Uh, so I'll show you how that works out. But first we're going to set up some refer reference planes. And I just want to quickly click back to my uh, table that's already uh, done. And so I'm just going to click on the switch window tab and click on my modern table that's completed already. And I want to show you how this was already uh, complete and how I set it up. So on your reference level, you can see that I have dimensions. And I started with a three foot width and a four foot height for my tabletop. And if I hover over it, this is actually my tabletop here. These little lines underneath are the legs. <clears throat> so that's from the top down view. Then we also have the um, elevation view. So let me show you. This is from the back. I'm going to deselect that. This would be the leg and the top. And then we have the front view, left view, 
which actually has the height parameter set up at 2 foot 8 inches high. That's 32 inches high. It's pretty typical for a standard table. And then on the right hand side, you'll see the same information. We have 2 inch thick legs and 2 inch thick top. Very uh, simple, basic kind of modeling, but uh, I think it's easier to go with a simple model and then get into the nitty gritty on how to make it uh, move and do the things we want it to do for our dimensions and being able to change the parameters once it's in our project. All right, so I'm going to get out of this uh, and go back to my modern table. I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to my family one. Okay, so when you first open up a family template, it's going to always name it family one. And we want to go ahead and save this so that we are working in something other than just family one table. Uh, you can do that at any time, but I'm going to do that right away so I can just get this saved and get it going. So I'm going to go up to the um, save area and do a save as, and I'm going to save it as a family. Yes, I want it to stay a family, and you can see I've created some other families here that I've been working on. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and call this um, table. Oops. If I could spell table demo, you can call it whatever you want, and you can name it once you're finished. You can rename it, whatever you need to do. Uh, but that's what we're going to do for this video right now. Right, so now I'm in my, it, it turns it to an RFA, it's not a template anymore, but it is still a uh, family. That's why it's an RFA uh, extension. So the first thing I'm going to do is use that dimensions that I just showed you, three foot wide, four foot uh, length, and create some reference planes. So we start with create tab here, we go to datum, and this is where you're going to get your reference planes. So we're going to create our reference planes for the back of the table. And I want these to be parallel and per perpendicular, so I'm going to make sure that I get that sepia, or that, I'm sorry, that cyan colored line. So that's going to be my back. This is going to be the front. And then I'm going to put the sides in. Notice I'm not paying any attention whatsoever to um, dimensions or the offsets or the distances that I'm uh, doing this. So I'm just trying to create a rectangle here. Now I can go back with my um, and click on modify with my temporary dimensions and I want to set up some dimensions from all of these reference planes so that I can go back and set the exact sizes that I want for these uh, distances. Okay, so uh, now I can go to modify again, and I just have to select one of the reference planes on the left, uh, click on the dimension, and I can type in two. Um, actually, this one I want to be one and a half feet, so I'm going to type in 1.5, enter, and it's going to give me one foot six inches. And then I'm going to select this one on the right hand side, same thing, 1.5, enter, and I'm going to have uh, one foot six inches. So now my total distance is three feet. And that's the width that I wanted to start with. I'm going to do the same thing for these uh, the front and back um, reference planes. So just click here, go to my dimension, and this one's going to be two feet. Again, since Revit understands feet, all you have to type in is two enter. It's very fast. Uh, click here and go to the dimension to enter. So now I have a four foot in this direction if I add those together, and I have three feet in this direction. I'm not going to worry about naming any of these planes right now. I'm just going to leave it like that. So now I have basically the tabletop uh, area where I'm going to create my tabletop already set up. The next thing that I want to do before I start uh, using the extrude is to go to my right elevation. And in my right elevation, you can see I have my reference plane. I'm going to make some more um, planes because I... Uh, I want the tabletop to be a certain height and a certain depth. So I'm going to go ahead and click on create and I'm going to create a reference plane and I'm going to put it in the horizontal direction. And that's going to be my uh, top of my table. And if I wanted to, I could actually uh, give this a name. 
So this is going to be my tabletop. And then two inches below that is going to be the bottom of the table. Uh, that, that'll be the whole uh, thickness of the tabletop. So I'm going to go ahead and add that reference plane in there as well. Uh, now I'm going to click on modify and go to the dimensions. I need a temporary dimension from the reference plane, the reference level, to the top, tabletop. But I want to make sure that I'm picking, I'm sorry, I'm hitting the tab key. I want to make sure that I'm actually picking the reference plane and not the level. So I'm hitting the tab key until I see the little uh, dashed lines, not the long lines that indicate the uh, level. And I want to make sure I have the reference plane. So I'm going to click and drag that out so that that is going to be my total height. Now again, I do have to adjust this. And so I may need to adjust both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and add another temporary dimension right here from the bottom of the tabletop, hit the tab key, uh, make sure I get that reference plane and click. So this first dimension here, I'm going to click on modify and select that reference plane that's the bottom of the table. And this one is going to be at set at two foot six inches. That'll be under the underside of my table. And then I can click on this reference plane, the top, and this is going to be two foot eight inches. So that'll be the top of my table. And I needed to uh, move both of them to the correct location. The tabletop itself is two inches thick. And so I can add a temporary dimension here just to make sure that I have that set up correctly. And it looks like I do. Uh, so now my reference Sorry, my right uh, elevation is showing where that tabletop is going to go once I create my extrusion. And then if I go back to my floor plan, the reference level is showing the um, parameter or the out, outer area of where that tabletop is going to be. So now that we've set up our framework, the next step is to actually use the extrusion and create the table. So I'm going to go to Create, and I'm clicking on Solid Extrusion. And the solid extrusion, uh, we can use any of our draw tools here. Notice that this is a, in sketch mode, and we do have to, once we're finished, click on that finish edit mode. So I'm going to go ahead and click on rectangle, because that's the easiest thing to do, and just select the reference planes that I created that were the correct size that I wanted. And I need a nice, clean um, uh, rectangle here. I can't have any holes or openings or extra lines. Uh, so once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and click Finish Edit Mode. Okay, so I have actually created an extrusion. And what I need to do, and I could edit the extrusion if, if I decided I wanted to change the shape of it. Uh, but what I need to really do now is to click on the uh, Modify and go to my 3D view and see what it looks like. So we've got this crazy looking rectangle shape. And I didn't change the depth of it. It actually came in at one foot deep automatically. I didn't change that. I'll show you how to change it though in the future, but I didn't change that because we need to do some editing without, uh, without that. So if we go now to the right elevation, you're going to see this is our tabletop so far. It's one foot thick. It's sitting at the reference level. That's where it's automatically going to come in. But now we're going to do some editing. So if you select your extrusion, you can see you have these grab areas. And I'm going to just grab it and drag it up. Now it's a complete cube. And then I can grab the one at the bottom. This is going to be my bottom of my tabletop. And just let it snap to that other reference plane. And now I actually have, if I click outside and, and uh, deselect it, I actually have what looks more like a tabletop. Okay, so in my 3D view, you can see I have the tabletop. And if you want to just kind of play around and see what it looks like, you can change your, uh, your graphics display to uh, shaded or some other view. So this is what we've created so far. And uh, the next step would be to add the legs to our uh, model. And we're going to do that with extrusions. And I will be back to show you that.